Welcome to this new episode of Bizjet TV. We're going to be talking about the latest news that's just happened in the United States with pilot retirement age. And so we're going to delve into that today and talk about older pilots, which is an interesting subject. But if you've never been here on Bizjet TV before, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm an aviation advisor and also the author of this new book called The Quantum Economy. If you haven't got yourself a copy, click on the link below and you can go and see what it's all about. Anyway, let's get into today's episode about pilot retirement age the faa reauthorizes the bill and heads to the house floor for vote which means they want to increase the retirement age for pilots from 65 to 67. now why is this happening this is happening because there's a pilot shortage which we already knew was happening before the whole covid lockdown thing where a lot of airlines in order to survive offered early retirement to their pilots and the pilots took the early retirement deals and so now the pilot shortage got far worse than it was before. So they're thinking, well, if we increase the retirement age to 67, that will solve the problem. But there's also a series of people which are against this because they're saying we don't want old pilots flying passengers around because it's dangerous. Old people are, can't fly airplanes. Now, that's wrong. And I don't agree with that because I know a lot of guys in their 60s and 70s also that are still flying. Um, now, obviously, this applies to Part 135 operations a part 121 operations which is airline operations or commercial flight operations uh, worldwide the rule is 65 so it's when you hit 65 years old you have to quit but you can go and fly private aircraft so you can fly a private jet as long as that airplane is operated privately and it's not up for charter or on a charter certificate or an AOC or part 135 as you call it in the US so um, there are a lot of private jets flying around with people over 65 a good friend of mine got his uh, a global, sorry, his global, his Falcon 7X type rating, 72, 73 years old, um, and flew that airplane for three or four years till then finally retired because he had a granddaughter was born. And so he wanted to spend more time with his family uh, after, you know, thousands of hours of flying and whatnot. I, I don't blame him. Uh, but this guy, extremely fit, does yoga every day, mentally, physically very fit, a lot fitter than guys 45 years old that I know. So why not? As long as you can pass your medical, you can pass your SIM checks, you're flying to a certain standard, why not use these guys? These guys have got a ton of experience that they can transfer over to the younger guys, you know, and we need these guys, 65, 66, 67 years old, to stay flying because it's just going to help the younger generation and also keep the airplanes flying and solve, partially solve, the pilot um, shortage problem. So I think this is a good thing. It's happening in the US. Hopefully it's going to happen over in Europe because now, of course, um, you can have pilots of 66, 67 years old fly airplanes in the US, but they won't be able to travel internationally because the limit's 65. So these pilots will be used uh, to fly domestically in the United States. But if this rule then uh, migrates over to Europe and the AZA decides to increase the age to 67 because you know the pilot shortage is a worldwide phenomenon so if the americans lead with increasing it to 67 i personally would have raised it to 70 um but you know from 65 to 67 is already a good step uh, because today people are healthier uh, but you know i do recognize the fact that there are a lot of guys failing their medicals um in particular over the last couple of years Lots of younger guys having all sorts of problems, heart problems and that, and diabetes and, and cancer and losing their medical at a young age, even 40 years old, 45 years old. But there's still a group of people which are extremely fit um, and that, you know, 66 years old, perfectly capable of captaining a bone 777 across the Atlantic. So why not let them? They pass all the checks, they pass the medical. So let's get the conversation going. You let me know what you think of this a new ruling that's coming now in the United States, increasing the retirement age for pilots up to 67. Um, if you've got a private jet, you may even have a pilot that's over that age um, that's flying for you, maybe 70 years old, he's perfectly fit, why not? Um, so, you know, go for it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. You got to the end of the video. Welcome to The Quantum Economy, my new book. Click on the link below to get yourself a copy. This is about the business of the future and why the private jet is playing and will be playing an important role. There's a story of a number of entrepreneurs in here and how they use the business jet to build their empires. Um, and really, really key, you read about Renzo Rosso, the guy that created the diesel brand, an Italian guy of how he bought his first Lear 45 against uh, his accountant's advice, which said that's not waste money on airplanes. No, he bought the Lear 45 and then moved on to a Falcon 7X and how that decision really helped build the brand worldwide. 
So get yourself a copy of the Quantum Economy by clicking on the link below and also check out this other video I did about illegal private jet charters. This is an interesting one as well. It's getting a lot of views, lots of chit chat about this around the world, about these illegal private jet charters, what it's all about and how dangerous it can be. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV and I'll see you in the next one.